Grab your green and get ready. It's St. Patty's Day, and we have more coverage on the celebrations in West Michigan. Yes, we do. Elliot Grandia, he is feeling lucky with his assignment <laughs> today, previewing the wow. festivities at one of the area's Irish He's main stage. He's the last I, time I saw him. He has. I know. He was just here. He's grown <laughs> a full beard, Elliot Grandia. Are you getting a little taste of Ireland this morning at Conklin's? All right. Top of the morning to ya. Top of the morning. Anything back? No? Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yes, ladies, I've grew, grown this in about uh, seven minutes or so. Uh, we're at Conklin Bar, you guys. This is an Irish haven in West Michigan. Today is a place to be here because there's so much fun to be had here. Uh, how, was, how was my accent? It's pretty good. Pretty good? Not yeah. too bad. Okay, we'll work on it. We've got a, we've got a couple hours to uh, perfect it this morning. I'm joined by Ashley here at Conklin Bar. Uh, you guys are going to have quite the party here. Yeah, that's our plan. <laughs> so you were telling me there's a parade in Conklin, uh, and it actually uh, was founded uh, like a couple decades ago. Tell me about that. So basically, this guy named Pat Hale started it, and it started down at um, Cart Smart, and it was supposed to go to the south end of town, and they ended up stopping here on the way through, and no one ever made it back out. So the parade stops abruptly here at Conklin's doorstep. The true Irish way. Yeah, you, you come to a bar, you don't make it back out. Um, if you're hungry today, lots of good uh, goodies here, Irish goodies, if you will. There's a whole menu here, and we've got a couple of those items here. So tell me what we got. Let's start with this stew here. This one is our Guinness stew. Um, so we use uh, what are we? A ribeye in that. It's super good. Um, and then over here we have our Irish taco. So it's got corned beef, sauerkraut, Thousand Island, and cheese in it. Okay. They're super yummy. So you've been craving a Reuben today. So I'm gonna try both of these. Is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So is it is the dipping yeah. the, kind of the option yeah. here? So it comes with bread. We love that. Okay. We got the ribeye. All right. Let's see here. Ooh. Isn't that good? What's that broth made out of? That's tasty. We have the beef broth in it, and then we add Guinness to it for the flavoring. Okay. Okay. So I'm thinking this is good to have with a Guinness alongside. Yeah, that's what I would recommend. Got to go along with that. All right. So then we have our. Uh, our version of the Reuben. Take a look at that, you guys. So this is, again, what's in here? It's got corned beef, sauerkraut, Thousand Island, and cheese. Mm. Mm. It's a different take. I like that. Mm -hmm. A very interesting take. I really like that. That's, who the, the Thousand Island comes through on that. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, as you see, uh, there's a lot of uh, fun green to be had here. Good times. We're going to be learning a little bit about some of their drink specials, and I guess you're going to teach me how to properly pour a Guinness. I'm going to. Okay, so that's coming up. It's a process, you guys. We were learning about this this morning. It's not quick. So I'm going to try to do that in just a few minutes or so here at Conklin Bar. Very important life lessons, yes. Elliot. I guess we'll call him Elliot O'Grandia from now on. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Ooh, I like that. It's got a ring to it. I know. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Elliot. We'll see you soon.